All right, now we need to create a new block. And to create a new block, we need to calculate the hash. The hash is the combination of all the properties combined into one very long and mathematically weird string, okay? So I am going to, motherfucker, I am going to, what happened, okay? I'm going to install crypto.js. All right, done. And I'm going to import it. Now, because it's TypeScript, the import process is a little bit different, all right? So I'm gonna say import everything, I guess, as crypto.js from crypto.js. That's basically the import process. Don't ask me, whatever. Now, we need to be able to calculate the hash of a block, all right? We need to know what is the hash of the block. And on the Bitcoin clone, we did it outside. We did something here and said calculate hash, whatever. All right, but let's put Java, uh, TypeScript a little bit more to the limit, all right? And let's do it here, okay? So we're gonna create a method called calculate hash, and this will be a static method. This means a method that is inside of the class block that you can call even if a class hasn't been created. Don't worry about this, this is just bullshit JavaScript theory. It's just a, um, a method that is always gonna be available for you in the class block, all right? Now, if for example, I have a method called say hello here, right? And this method gives something, I don't know, it gives you like a return hello, right? You won't be able to do something like block say hello, all right? Because you need to create a block first, like here, Genesis block, and then with Genesis block, you will be able to say, say hello, all right? But in this case, we don't give a shit. As you can see here, say hello. So this is a method that it's only available once you create a block, okay? Now I'm gonna create a method that is available even if I don't create a block. And I'm gonna say static calculate block hash. All right, let's make that this hash. Motherfucker hash, okay. And this is going to take the index, the index is a number, it's going to take the previous hash, which is a string, and it's also going to take the timestamp, which is a number, and it's going to take the data, which is a string. All right, and it's going to return a string. All right, and now onto the function. Okay, just purify this and onto the function. Now what this is going to return is crypto.js, right? SHA crypto.js SHA256, if I'm not mistaken. S yes. And this will combine the index plus the previous hash plus the timestamp, plus the data, all right? And then we're gonna turn everything into a two string. Done, all right? So this is calculate block hash. And if you can see here, I can say block and calculate block hash, it's available for me. As you can see, it's working, all right? I can calculate from straight up from the class block, all right? If this wasn't static, I, I wouldn't be able to do this. I couldn't do block, calculate. As you can see, it's not working, all right? Awesome, so this will be a static. Great, how much time? Four minutes, let's make it a little bit longer. Cool. Before we move on, let's create some small functions that we're going to use, okay? So what I'm gonna create is const get blockchain because I need to know how long the blockchain is so I can add one more block to my blockchain. And get blockchain is going to return a block. Uh, no, an array of blocks, sorry. Well, you can do this or you can do this. Uh, let's do this. Sorry for that, this was a mistake, mistake. All right, get blockchain, it's a block, all right? And what I'm gonna return is basically the blockchain. All right, done. 
Perfect. What else? Now I'm also going to get the latest block. Get latest block. This is because I need to know how long the blockchain is. All right. This also will be a function and this will only return one block. All right. So I'm going to say blockchain. Or I can say get blockchain better. Get blockchain. All right. This will give me one block. No, fuck it. Blockchain. This is the like the dirty way in JavaScript. Blockchain that length minus one. This will give me the latest block, the latest item inside of the blockchain. That's how I. That's how I do it. And I think one more could be get new timestamp. I'm gonna get a new get new timestamp. All right, and this returns a number, okay? And I'm gonna return, I'm gonna say math random of new, ah, sorry, not random, round, round of new date, all right? And I'm gonna say get time, all right, by 1000. Okay, so we have get blockchain, get latest block, and get new timestamp. If you're new to blockchain, then you have to go about and read a little bit of what blockchain is. If you come from the blockchain course and the Bitcoin clone, I invite you to turn what we did there into a TypeScript because, in my opinion, it just looks more beautiful to know what is a block array and what is a block and what is a number and all that stuff, all right? So that's it for this video. This is the part one. On the next one, we're going to actually implement the function that creates the new block, all right? And you're going to see how all these things fit together. But I hope this course uh, so far shows you how um, TypeScript can make your code look so much pretty and more predictable. So see you on the next video. Bye-bye.